Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Old Sarge Collects. So I've got another SGC return today and uh, really excited to jump into this one. Um, I submitted about 25 cards for this submission. It was a pretty quick turnaround. Um, I submitted it on the 11th and uh, SGC re received it on the 17th. And then it was uh, finalized and graded by the 25th. And here it is. Um, what, what day is today? The 28th, and I received it um, Saturday the 28th. So pretty quick turnaround. And uh, I'm really excited about this SGC return, mainly because um, I've got a couple of cards here that are from the 1800s that I, I really am excited about. And, uh, and this is the main reason why um, I did this SGC return. And then everything else inside this box here is uh, Lanyap. So, you know, it's just extra, extra stuff that uh, I wanted to go ahead and just throw in this order um, and see how it does. But one thing that um, I'm certain of, and that's that you'll probably see some stuff in this order, some cards that you've never seen before, or at least you've not seen on YouTube before. Um, and so, let's see here. Big stack, big stack of cards. So I'm going to go ahead and open up everything and then have it all ready to go. So I've got some 1800s cards. I've got some 1940s cards. And I've got some uh, uh, 1990s cards and some 1980s cards. Now what I can tell you is that... Um, I did have one thing that wasn't graded. Uh, what I can tell you is that I've already seen all the grades. Um, nothing is, nothing is um, surprising. Okay, uh, I got basically I, everything got graded that I expected to get graded, and uh, I pretty much got the grades that I was expecting to get. So, uh, or hoping to get rather. So let's take all this stuff off here. Bear with me for a second. Already two minutes in. I haven't even shown you a card yet. That's how these go sometimes. Let's, let's get that out of there. Come on. Okay. All right. So like I said, uh, got some cards here. I don't, I don't think you've ever... I don't expect you to... Um, be familiar with. Now, I did have this um, postcard that I was hoping to get graded. Um, and if you're following my channel, this is uh, a, a, a roughly around 1983 or 1984 postcard of uh, Mike Morgan. And Mike Morgan is a family member of mine. So, unfortunately, didn't get graded. So, and then uh, let's go ahead and do the, the smaller cards. Now, if you looked at my last SGC return, um, you'll see that uh, this got fixed. So this wasn't in the proper holder. It wasn't, it wasn't in there properly um, the last time. And so, uh, so they fixed this free of charge. So that's, that's good news um, for that. All right, so now time to get into this order and um, just got some fun cards here. All right. Uh, so like I said, all of this is extra to what I really wanted to get graded. So the first one is this right here, this 1986 Tops Garbage Pill Kids. Uh, this is number 140 Alpha um, Mouth Fill. And this is from the fourth series. So this is what the back looks like. And then this is uh, the front. It got a grade of a 8.5. So excited about that all right um i had a couple of cards from for uh, my uncle mike my mike morgan collection um and so i just threw these in here so i already had a 1984 tops graded but um i didn't have a 1984 tops tiffany and since this was the first year that the tiffany's came out i wanted to get one graded and i actually i got two graded uh, not knowing what they would grade and um, both got a nine. So I was pretty happy about that. I'm only going to keep one. I'll probably end up giving one away in a, 
you know, VR challenge or something like that at some point. So, all right. Um, also got two 1983 tops done because the first one that I got was, uh, or the first, the one that I have graded right now is uh, a five. Um, it's an SGC five. And the reason being for that is because it was uh, my childhood card uh, stuck in a binder for, you know, 30 plus years. So I decided I wanted a higher grade one. So I submitted these, uh, these two cards. So, all right. Uh, this one, I was inspired by a friend of mine. Um, and uh, this is the 1981 Topps Raiders of the Lost Art card with Harrison Ford. And uh, it's got Lucasfilm down here on the bottom. Now, it got a grade of a nine. And if you look closely, you'll see a fisheye here. Uh, there's also some yellow specks going on right over here. So I suspect that that's the reason for the nine. Um, here's what the back looks like. So I was excited about that card. And if you checked out one of my last SGC returns, you'll note that um, I've submitted this card before, well, a different card um, that received the grade of a four. And so I've been searching around for this Pi Trainer uh, 1976 Tops All-Time All-Stars card and uh, found one in, in pretty decent condition that I wanted to submit for grading. So here's the grade that I got back. Pretty happy about that. Uh, this pretty much completes my set for the um, all-time all-stars subset of the 1976 top set. So, all right. Now, here's some cards that you've probably not, never seen before. And I've got a number of these cards here. Um, so, this is these cards are from 1945. And this is from the 1945-46 Kellogg's. It's the all wheat set, and uh, this is from the, the third series of that set. This is card number five, lining up the grounder. Um, these are, are smaller cards. They're also perforated edge cards. Uh, they came on a sheet, and, and you know you had to tear them apart and everything. And so what they do is is they they talk about different positions of the baseball field and how to play those positions, how to play certain plays, you know, whether you're um, lining up for the grounder, whether you're hitting a uh, bunt or whatever the case is, it uh, kind of gives you step-by-step -step instructions. Here's what the back looks like on these cards. So they always have this Kellogg's All Wheat logo right here at the top. It'll tell you right here whether it's part of the third series or second series, uh, and it gives you a brief description here. Now, I think that this is also a Canadian uh, set and not an American set because it's got French right here. So uh, very well could be a, a a Canadian set. So anyway, this one got a six. And then the next card uh, got a three, unfortunately. This is the um, number 15 throw from the outfield. And it talks about, um, you know, hitting them on a bounce. So we're throwing it on a bounce. So here's the back of that card. And the next one is number 14, the hook slide. And so there's the image for that one. I got a grade of a four on this card. Not really happy about that grade either. But, I mean, you know, these things are from 1945. And... Um, you know, no telling what their history is, and they're not easy to, to track down on eBay. So, uh, you know, it took me a while to find all these. So I'm, I'm happy with the grades. All right, so this next one, yeah, I got a six on, and uh, this is number 18, head position. Uh, talking about where your head should be looking at, you know, when you're swinging at the ball. This is from the second set of the um, All Wheat series. And uh, here's what the back looks like. You'll see that it says second set right there. And so then I got uh, a six, six and a half on this one. This is number 20, the infield stance, also from the second set. And 
So I really like this image here. I like that half moon uh, around the player and, and the purple background. It's pretty cool. Here's the back of the card. All right, this one, I got the highest grade on this one. This is a seven. This is card number 21, base running. And this is from also from the second set. And here's another Garbage Pail Kid card. This is a uh, card number 291B. This is from the 1987 set and from series seven of that set. Really like that image. And here's the back of the card. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and put him over here. All right, uh, back to this set. So I got a four and a half on this one. This is card number seven of the second set. And this is uh, titled Batting Trick. And I'd have to read the back to know what, what they're talking about, but couldn't tell you right now. And then we've got card number eight from the second set. Uh, the step in, talking about uh, stepping into the ball, and here's the back. And another high grade, card number 15 from the second set. This is the fly ball, and um, I assume it's probably talking about how to catch the fly ball. So... Really neat little cards, little instructional cards for kids. All right, then I got some stickers um, done. These are 1960 Fleer uh, American Football League team decals or stickers. This one is of the Dallas Texans logo. These are, well, they're not blank backs, but they basically tell you what what the sticker can and will and won't stick to so but uh that's a kind of a, a neat image so i really like it and then i do have another one here so this one is of the houston oilers logo um, from the same set the american football league team decals 1960 fleer so here's the image got it um Got a football player wearing a cowboy hat, and you got some oil fields in the background. I like that he's got cowboy boots and spurs on. I think that's kind of funny. All right. These next two cards are neat. Um, so this one is of Kevin Costner when he played in Bull Durham. Uh, this card is from 1988. And um, really neat image, um, you know, of uh, Kevin Costner being a baseball player on one of the many baseball movies he's been on. So here's the back of it. And actually on the back of it, it shows all the different movies he's done. So uh, some of these cards you'll see um, after Bull Durham, you'll see 1989 and you'll see um, Field of Dreams. On this particular card, you don't have Field of Dreams. So there's two, two different versions of this card. And uh, really like this one. Actually, the other version is a two-tone card where this one just goes from dark brown to light to, you know, kind of a tan. Anyway, so this one got a, a nine. And uh, let me go ahead and put Kevin Costner out here. And I've got another Kevin Costner card. So this one is the Field of Dreams card from 1990. And uh, really like this card. Uh, this one also got the grade of a nine. And here's what the back looks like. All right, almost done. So the next card is going to be another Z-Nut card. This one is the 1915 Z-Nut, again, of uh, Clarence Brooks or Lawrence Brooks. I'm not sure which one it is. And uh, this one's seen better days, but it's the only one that I could find. So I wanted to take it. Here's the back. It's got some writing on the back. So, all right, so those are the 
those are the, the regular size cards, and then the large cards are 1800s cards. Here's the first one. Uh, these two cards are the main reason why I submitted this order. So this is from the 1888 uh, Buford Sons Lithograph Company, and this is the H804-3 uh, set. Uh, this is card, you know, a brush with the ball. These are advertisement cards, so you'll oftentimes see different advertisement down here or also on the back. Uh, this one got the grade of a 2. I'm actually surprised that it graded a 2 considering it's got um, paper loss here. And so here's what the back looks like. It's just an advertisement for that company, Dean Brothers. Boots, shoes, and rubbers. Really cool image. I've shown this before on one of my Lanyap episodes, but um, 1800s image, you know, you've got a, you've got the red team in the field, you've got the blue team batting. Uh, this particular player, his hat's flying off as he's running around the bases and he's got that mustache and really cool uh, 1800s image. So, so that's the first one. And then this is the one I'm really, really excited about. So, this one right here, the 1880s American Eagle Tobacco National League Fine Cut Baseball Card. And this is also an advertisement card. Now, I just want to say the SGC has only graded four card, four of these cards, this one being the fourth one. And uh, uh, a one is, is a typical grade that you'll find in these. Um, it, this one's got some advertisement on the back as well. As you can see, there's quite a bit of paper loss because it was in a um, album but um, you know this one is for some drugs and medicines obviously and uh, just really love this image really really awesome image and it, and it fits right in with all my other uh, 1800s uh, baseball cards so all my 19th century collection so as you can see you've got a player uh, in the front You've got some baseball bats here in the background. You know, you've got players playing playing the game. You've got a banner across here that says National League uh, Fine Cut Chew. And typically what you'll see is an advertisement down here. Uh, and in this case, there is no advertisement on the front of the card. It's only on the back of the card. So, all right, everybody. Well, that is my SGC return. I appreciate all of you uh, watching, and, and uh, thanks for visiting my channel. And, and keep hunting the good stuff. Until next time, take care.